I'm just gonna catch my breath and then I'm gonna show you guys a very necessary workout for a motorsport athlete. The best thing, you don't even need to tie up this thing, you know? Hey and welcome back to another episode of Backward Life and today we are moving on to thin ice because we are going to do a workout together with you guys. I'm going to show you my preferred workout for motorsport athletes, uh, bring on the, the healthiness into Backward Life. Got a, quite a few questions from you guys to show more like inside what do we motorsport drivers do between races and uh, today we are in the gym I'm training at in Bergen. It's called Inner Limit CrossFit which is a very very nice CrossFit gym has all the tools that I would like to have is where I kind of build my base uh, before a race weekend for example next week we have the race in Norway in hell the big event for me of the year we bring tons of uh, backward blues up to to hell it's gonna be great to see all the fans all right so I want to show you guys some different workouts which I use we're gonna work with some core we're gonna work uh, do a simple workout which is gonna be very very fast but high pulse and high intensity different motorsport requires different training for example for me in rallycross has one type of fitness form and you have formula one athletes which has a complete different one so i follow my workouts uh, in rallycross to get more fit and prepared for races where i think max verstappen for example which drives f1 he follow his path but uh, yeah let's get to it all right so normally i start with stretching uh, before i go over to some warm-up sessions which can either be like rowing or assault bike or jumping ja no jump jumping rope <laughs> it's called jumping rope <laughs> i think in rallycross or in motorsport in general you need to be quite uh, athletic and uh, it's a nice way to to get warm very flexible but a little I think that's good for any motorsport athlete or any athlete at all to be flexible so normally whenever I travel I bring jumping rope with me it's super simple it has no weight so you can bring it in your suitcase everywhere you go in the hand luggage it looks silly if you're on the airport actually jumping around <laughs> you can probably do that too Something which is very, very important in every athlete's life is core training. And that's also without a doubt in motorsport. Especially I remember in karting, you know, you're sitting here very like tight with your stomach in the seat. You're sitting and uh, tightening up your stomach and your back. And I think the core fitness in motorsport is the generally where you need to focus the most and the, the biggest time of your workouts needs to be around your core. It's extremely important to have a good core when doing motorsport. So you guys probably remember the crash I had with Timmy in Abu Dhabi. Flat out backward! Oh massive contact! That was measured with the G-sensor we have in the car on 7 Gs. <laughs> the G-sensor actually stopped working at 7 and uh, it got destroyed. So it was probably over 7 Gs. So in those situations, those are extreme situations. But there, it's more important than ever to have a strong core. I was bruised for one and a half week. Felt the pain in my lower back, some pain in my neck, shoulder. Uh, but other than that, it took one and a half week, two weeks to get 100%. But if I didn't have a strong core, that would be be so much worse I would probably go to hospital and uh, get straightened up after a hit when you, your body is stuck but your body wants to go this way I would be probably twisted around 120 degrees <laughs> <laughs> all right so let's do some core workouts and normally when I choose exercises I would like fun exercises I don't like to do 200 sit-ups in once I, I would like to find fun exercises I use medicine ball a lot like explosive workouts use your whole body so I don't know what the, this one is called but we do it a lot together with the national coach uh, in Norway, Fredrik. Yeah. All right, speaking about core, very important is your back core muscles. You can find it in almost every gym. You go up to here. If it's too easy for you, then you can have weights. Many people get very tired in their legs, including myself. Try to relax more in your legs uh, and let the back do the work. If you don't have the correct equipment at home, you can always do back extension like this. 
it is pretty much as simple as that. When I'm out traveling 270 days a year, then I use this a lot. So the reason I'm here at Inner Limit CrossFit is that you have a, a lot of different stuff you can do as an athlete. You can uh, jump in the rings or rope or use the pull-up uh, rig or cross-country skiing. You, you have so many different elements you can use. And in CrossFit, there's so many different workouts. For example, for me, I'm not a very strong uh, athlete. I don't squat much, I don't deadlift much, I don't bank press uh, much. As a motorsport athlete, you would like to stay light. So my aim is to be around 72 kilos. When I did the DTM test, I was the heaviest in Spain last year. I was 80 kilo with full equipment, helmet, uh, suit, shoes, uh, gloves, everything. Where I think the closest one was at 74. So yeah, I think motorsport athletes are pretty skinny. Uh, they don't have much leg muscles, but they are pretty strong in their core, uh, which is the key and the essential key to everything. I'm not sure if you guys remember the DTM test I did. The seat was a little bit too big and I was like floating around in the seat a little bit too much and I was tightening up my core. <laughs> I used especially my lower back uh, to tighten up my myself when I was driving and I was so tired after the half a day I did in the car there was a lot of new muscles I never thought I had in my body I should definitely have used the back extension a little bit more but do you guys remember I was like I've never been so wet in my entire life it was so warm in that cockpit <laughs> because I'm soaked, I'm wet. It was very warm in the car. I've been sitting there for a whole day, so uh, I will back? change. How's your back? My back is, uh, I didn't want to say to anyone, but it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> and I tried to hold on to the steering wheel and everything I had and the G-forces you have when you're racing. Also, I do think part of your neck muscle is also connected to your uh, lower back and core. Obviously, your head is attached to your body. <laughs> <laughs> so when you, you are in long corners and you have a lot of G-forces pressing your head uh, either way, you start with your core and then it goes up to your neck muscles to keep your head in space. So I think the core is essential, biggest muscle if you're <laughs> going to do long endurance racing or work with something that has a lot of G-forces for your neck. Like you can see, I like to go a little bit back and forward with front and back. Again, side to side. I'm sure everybody has seen this exercise before. Touch the floor, fast up, lift your legs, it gets heavier, and you can work with your coordination at the same time. So I try to find different type of uh, core training. And now I head over to the rings where we will work on both the back and the front together. You put your legs in, you can either stand like this or on your elbows. nice it's nice it's nice all right so that was very simple just a couple of uh, exercises core related stomach and lower back right now i want to go into a workout 12 minutes workout it works uh, very efficient you get your heart rhythm up very fast uh, normally it's like 30 minutes or even longer workouts today i have put up a 12 minute workout just for you guys to see and understand how it works it's gonna be just peak up to your max uh, heart rate and try to stay in that gap and in that window for a short time for only 12 minutes so the workout i'm having today is a uh, amrap 12 uh, so it's it's gonna be 12 wall balls it's gonna be 12 uh, kettlebell swing 12 push-ups and then ended up with 12 uh, toaster bar when i'm done with that then i go back to the wall ball 12 new there back to 12 uh, kettlebell and i think you understand the game <laughs> so it just keeps on going until you have done a 12 minute workout heart rate get up very fast and the first two three rounds will be very easy then uh, you're gonna get the hammer and then you need to stick in the zone and try to live <laughs> all right so wish me luck all right so this workout is actually gonna be pretty heavy right we ready we are ready by the way it's 10 p.m so my screen is already turned to night night mode <laughs> <laughs> all right so 12 minutes on the clock here we go Uh, it's 
not fun. So it's up to you guys. Comment below how many rounds did you get. Uh, if you comment how many rounds you did, then maybe I'll let you guys know how many rounds I did. So the reason why I like to do this is that it's short. For sure, the, the wood we did today was kind of extreme. I shouldn't have added the toaster bar. You can take away the, the toaster bar and put in jumping rope or something a little bit easier, or you can choose your level. You can change all the kind of uh, workouts we had with different stuff, like sit-ups you can add in there. So you can do squats, you can do... The important thing is that you are doing something and that you get your heart rhythm very fast up, especially for rally cross. I think this is the best form of workouts for me. It doesn't necessarily be the best way for you to get in shape, but I have a short window every day where I can do a workout. I have tons of different stuff to do during the day. So for me to get in here to Inner Limit CrossFit, uh, to do a fast workout together with them, uh, be competitive with other athletes. Some are good in strength, some are good in cardio, some are good in uh, movement, some are good in running, others are good in rowing, combining everything. It's like, like rallycross is motorsports MMA I think also CrossFit is fitness MMA it's a mix of everything all right I'm just gonna I'm just gonna catch my breath and then I'm gonna show you guys a very cool and a very necessary workout for a motorsport athlete it doesn't need to be rallycross or a Lamar driver of F1 everybody's doing it so this is my go-kart helmet slash racing helmet. I used it back in 2016 and 17. We're gonna do a neck workout. So this you can do at home. You can be at the couch or you can be in bed. Put the helmet on 20 times upwards, 20 times the left side, 20 times the right side. When you have got the hang of it, do more uh, longer workouts with neck. I used this especially when I started to, to become like 12, 13 years old in karting when yellow Vega tires a high grip uh, and I struggle with my neck and core muscles so this exercise I did all the time we can do a couple of hair right now so you can see the best thing you don't even need to tie up this thing you know and you go from straight and up here 20 times and then you go side you go a little bit down go up there and then you do the other side so a key thing with uh, neck exercises is that you need to be very careful with your neck. You can't start flying in hundreds workouts on your neck immediately. You need to start somewhere. Be gentle with your neck. It takes time for uh, your neck muscles to, to react. You only have one neck and you don't want to destroy it. So don't go crazy banana. Start with something easy. You can start without the helmet. Do the same exercises without the helmet. And then put on a helmet when you feel that's easy and do more reputation. For me, this helped me tons. All right, so this was some of the exercise I like to do when I'm at the CrossFit Center. All right, I'm not always bringing my helmet to a CrossFit gym, but I always try to, to do something fun when I'm doing workouts. So, you know, we do a lot of training and I think training is supposed to be fun. You don't need to run 10,000 meters in a certain time. I just think you need to be in general good shape and you need to enjoy what you're doing. So that's why I try to play some games when I'm training, you know, try to find fun stuff, challenge myself. The best world rally driver ever, Sebastian Loeb, he was a very good gymnastic uh, athlete before he joined rallying. Uh, so I do think that we need to do a little bit like him. <laughs> Are right, you good at it? Here we go, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> How many meters do you think, Mats? I'm going to be impressed if you get over this line. Alright, so that's probably five meters. And how many chances am I getting? Five? You get three attempts, okay? Five. Three. Oh, he's going. Woo! Oh, kind of stopped. Oh no! no oh! No, no, no. <laughs> You're never gonna make it. Shut up. <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, no! 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 no. <laughs> Last try. That was close. The intense moment. It's this line. Oh, he's going. Oh, oh, oh! That's a bad one. No. Oh! He's going for it. <laughs> That's how bad I'm at uh, handstand walks. Let's try bar muscle ups. I've never done one. Oh, I have actually done one, but it's pretty hard. And I can't do it without, without the swing. So it's gonna be like up here, through and up. I have a chance, but it's hard. Okay, I think you need to move. Oh! <laughs> You need to get through the rings. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah, mom. 
Oh, oh, that was close. That was close, yeah. I had it here. There is a technique. You need to get through. Yeah, all right. Last try. Last try. I feel that I need to do this now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the music? Come on. Hey, hey. Oh. I get one more time. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. One more time. <laughs> <laughs> we are close now. Ooh. No. I'm pretty sure there is so many like CrossFit technician out there knowing what I do wrong. So all comment. you haters, comment below. <laughs> Oi! Ah, did you get it? <laughs> oh shit, I didn't record. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's why we never quit. Hope you guys enjoyed today's backer life. This was a different type of backer life. Uh, Norway, hell, home soil, sponsors, backer blue, army, we need you all there. Bring your mom, dad, sister, brother, aunt, you know what I mean. Bring everyone to hell, Norway, June 15, 16. Hope I see you guys there. We need all the support in the world. Until next time, flat out. <laughs> <laughs>